Hello everybody. And here is I'm trying to measure results of my work. So I'm using this uh, test speed cassette to the measure allow and flutter on the deck after the service and uh, motor rebuild. So I just put it into play. It started play and here are the results. So speed is 3150, 149 and flutter Palm flutter 0 0.07, 0 0.08. Uh, so this is a Nakamichi T100 program. So see, tape is a little bit off by the levels. I know it, but uh, measurement of wow and flutter. So this is the mode. And uh, currently switched to 0.1% here. And it shows 0 0.07, 0 0.08 with the piking by 0 0.09 here. Uh, that's about the, this mod. Let's try to measure other results. I'm still like, I just get this program. I'm still learning how to use it. So that's where I'm trying to understand how I may use it properly. Let's switch to the source and switch to the level mode. So it's a... Uh, level here, so it shows too high level for some reason. Let me see. Okay, 1%. I, I'm not sure how 1% can affect by level. <laughs> and what author meant when he implemented it. So here is our levels. So. Why it shows such a large level here? Okay, zero decibel. And it shows something pretty strange here. So probably I need to restart, restart this program. Let's try over again. Set the levels. doesn't play anything now. What we need to do probably to set output devices. Audio devices here. External card, headphones, okay. All right, so, so. let's switch to 400 gears here level here yeah and now we can set level on the deck and it will be matching minus five decibel here as i told you before so measurement is is pretty correct okay so it's 400 gears here and we're setting up level on 400 gears nice Next, um, let's try recording on the type 1 tape. Let's go to minus 20 decibel level, like that. Okay, it shows it's pretty fine. Fine tune. And it shows minus 20 here. Let's start recording. Oh, no, let's, let's see our frequency response first so it's our currently playing 400 gears on the tape and here is the white noise and here's the distribution and it's a signal from the tape from the deck itself now i will click play and you will see how it will change because it will be recording and it's zero level you see, when we're recording with zero level, after 10 kilohertz, it slopes. And if you go to minus 20 level, it should be flattened up. You see, it flattens, and I like what I see. And it shows minus 20 now on the indicator. And let's switch to the source. So here is the source. 
You see it will be the same line and here is the tape. Again source tape. Let's try a frequency sweep response and see how it performs here. So reduced level below 100 gears and above 18 kilogertz is also has to deal with my phone output and my connected audio card. I can say as you've seen, we've been using millivoltmeter to get pretty flat response there up to 11 gears. But I like what I see. Do you? It looks pretty flat to me. So it started to roll down like close to 20 kilogertz. So 16, 18, 19. So at 18 kilogertz, it's like kind of minus one, minus two decibel. So it's pretty fine for type one tape. Let's try type two tape. And how it will perform. So it should start over from frequency speed. Come on. Let's go back. Noise levels. Oh, it's still measuring. Come on, stabilize. <laughs> looks pretty interesting. So here is the source. Here is the tape. I'm not sure what it's measuring. Let's do frequency sweep over again. On the type 2 tape. Come on, it just been measuring. Pretty strange view for oscilloscope. Okay. Oh, we're not recording. That's a problem. It was just listening to the pre-recorded music. So here is the white noise. Come on. Okay, now it looks nice. And uh, here is the frequency sweep for the type two tape. Okay, up to 18 kilohertz shows fine, but I believe this is the limitation of the, my audio card because I've seen myself 21 kilohertz with zero drop on these tapes. And let's do metal tape. Metal recording. Now let's see what we will get here with metal tape. So you see it's redrawing. It's a little bit different. A little bit higher response on the high frequencies for this tape.
and it goes the same route on the high frequencies. Yeah, I'm afraid this is my, my car. So here is a 20 kilohertz. So 20 kilohertz here. It's 18 and it's 16. So pretty flat in this region and then quickly drops after 20 kilohertz. And now it should redraw this gap because we've been changing tape right here. Yeah, pretty good response. So I like this scope. Let's do Lisa Drew figures. Let's use this tape and let's see what it will draw for us. So I'm playing and switching to the Lisa Drews. So here is the Lisa Drew figure. Looks pretty nice for me. So I'm not sure what else I can check with this program. I need to, to learn it more. I believe there is multiple features connected and we may try to test levels right? just on different frequencies. So you should type one tape, recording. So it's minus 20 level and let's go by different frequencies. So it's 20 gears shows. 10, gear, 10 decibel lower, 40 gears shows 5 decibel lower, 63, 4 decibel, 100 gears almost equal. Remember, our is standard is minus 5 here. 160, 250, 400, come on, 400. You see, it's where we calibrated level, 630, less than half decibel difference, 1 kilohertz, 1.5 kilo, kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 3, and it's recording and playing now, 4, 5, 6.3, 8, very nice response. You see, less than one decibel change on all range. 10 kilohertz, 12, 15, 18, still holds, 20. It's still like one decibel on 20 kilohertz on the type on tape it's recording i'm not sure why on the chart it, it's it's draws differently when it's do frequency sweep response but here on this oscillator you may see yourself that we are doing very fine with this deck i'm very much happy it sounds very good and the only this limitation below like 100 gears is I believe my sound card is pretty cheap Chinese card so I'm not sure and here is a pink noise and you see the levels are there let's check square square one kilohertz This cow square looks on the oscilloscope and on Lisa Drew. So with this program, we get oscilloscope generator levels, everything, Kevin, wow, and clutter meter. I'm pretty much happy how it performs. Let's try to do wow and flutter. And there was, so it's currently 3,000 gears, records and plays. Let me see how we may switch to the advanced level. 
there was a button, I seen it. Here, advanced, boom. So it's records in place. And when it's records in place, we well, flutter higher, then we use a original master test tape. So on test tape, it was 0 0.07. 0 0.08 and now we see 0 0.2 drops of pikes so that's how important to use different tapes to measure okay i believe this would be it for today so it's distortion level it's currently set to one percent so it's 0 0.7 0 0.75 percent here distortion level on the right channel 400 gears and here is the left channel and it's very similar so no complaints very good i believe this would be it for today thank you for your attention thank you for your time and enjoy and try this program yourself it's a little bit costly like 25 dollars but still less than by the original the commission generator and this provides much more results than you can get from the commission thank you and have a good day